what happens when we talk to our clients at Ethos, and we work with about 60 different organizations, they're all different sizes, they're all different industries, they're all different stages, but they express something very similar to what Gio is articulating here today, which is just overwhelm at this yeah. sea of potential problems. And really what it is, is about developing a framework to look for what's happening with your employees in your organization, because then mm. you can start to address what matters most to them and every organization will be different. Some of the policies that I'm saying uh, folks don't have, you may have, or they may be applied really well. Folks may be really happy with how things are within the organization. The point is to be able to have an assessment mechanism that you're checking with regularly. So at Ethos, when we're looking at the internal DEI be held of an organization, we use our own model, which we call R2P2, recruiting, retention, promotion, and protection. Recruiting is everything that has to do with when you design the role all the way through to interviewing and ultimately extending that offer and onboarding. Retention is all of the practices, policies, procedures that keep employees committed to an organization and that have them respond that they are having a positive employee experience. Promotion is not only about who gets promoted, but about the velocity of movement. So if you are looking at gender equity, it's not just how many women, non-binary, trans, agender folks have been promoted within your organization, but how long did it take? And what were the investments in them? Did they have access to the same mentorship resources or additional mentorship resources, sponsorship resources, et cetera? And then when we're looking at protection, which is often what is associated with compliance, what we're looking at is what makes employees feel safe and what essentially dictates safety within the organization. If you start to break it down into those four buckets, you can put a magnifying glass to what's going on and say, here are the one or two interventions that are going to be most necessary. Hmm. There are tools and there are resources to help you do it. But if I tell you my perspective as a practitioner, the challenge for people is not that there are too many problems to solve. It's actually that they don't know where to focus their attention. So if you can hmm. put a framework in place and say, you know what, we really need to think about promotion in this organization. And let's take a look at who gets promoted, when they get promoted, and what resources we use to help them get promoted. Promoted, well, you've really boiled the ocean now mm -hmm. um, and you can actually focus and pay attention in different ways. And that's what we do as practitioners too. So that's something to just keep in mind if you are feeling that sense of overwhelm.